Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. First of all, this is going out to that clown that came on my channel talking about this dude is the greatest rapper ever. No, the fuck he ain't. Not even remotely close. You know, um, real talk, man. Eminem is a dude that benefited from basically three things. His skin color, good marketing, and being aligned with Dr. Dre. That was his whole, you know, persona. Some white kid that Dr. Dre discovered and pretty much put on. I can guarantee you had anybody else but Dr. Dre tried to put Eminem out, he would not have sold the records that he sold and he would not have had the popularity that he had. So he has everything that he has to, you know, he need to give thanks to Dr. Dre. Yes, he sold a shitload of records. But just because you sell a shitload of records does not mean you're the greatest artist ever because Michael Jackson sold over 100 million records worldwide. And I do not think Michael Jackson is the greatest singer of all time. So record sales means absolutely nothing. That's, you know, he just sold a lot of records. You know, he, you know. But let's just face the fact, a lot of people clinged on to him because of his skin color. And I'm going to tell you something, Eminem got away with saying and rapping about some weird ass shit that if he was black, he would not have had no career. If a black rapper came out and made records about killing his mom and killing his wife and, and you know what I'm saying? And some of the other shit made, and he would have countless homosexual references on his, uh, on his songs like that intro on the second album where he supposed to be getting allegedly sucked up by somebody in the insane clown posse and all that crazy shit. I used to fast forward that song every time I heard that shit. And he did that on quite a few of his albums. Just like on the, um, if I'm not mistaken, on the Relapse album, he had this song where he went into gruesome detail of how he was allegedly sexually assaulted by a man and shit. Like I said, if a black artist had made a record like that, he would not have a career. People wouldn't fuck with dude. Now, I mean, now, because of now, he probably could get away with that shit because of dudes like Young Thug and shit. But, you know, you know, 20 years ago, nah, you couldn't have got away with that shit. And I'm, I'm just keeping it honest. Okay, listen to those D12 albums. He wasn't the best rapper on those songs. Shit, the other dudes was. Swifty, Conniver, all them other dudes. Mr. Porter, them dudes was rapping way better than he was. And I'm just keeping it honest. And then when he would do collabs with people, he would get out rapped. He wouldn't be the best dude on the song. The only song that he liked was like he out rapped somebody was on that song, Renegades with Jay Z. And who couldn't out rap Jay Z on the song? That's why Jay Z is overrated as fuck to me. So these two dudes deserve each other. I'm just keeping it honest, man. The dude wouldn't have sold the records he sold if he was black. I'm just, I'm just keeping it 100. I don't give a fuck who get mad. You Eminem fans can go jumping in the river, you know, while the tides is 100 miles high and basically drown. I don't give a fuck. Take it however you want. You know, I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want to say. You know, he is good. But is he the greatest rapper of all time? Hell motherfucking no. I bought his albums. Man, sometimes he has songs where he wouldn't even say shit. He'd just say some old stupid shit just like on that song, Whoever Knew, where he says, Give me the bebop, drip to the read, Sonny Bun. I mean, what the fuck is that shit? And then look on the recent song. Look on that song, No Favors, with Big Sean. Big Sean rapped harder than he did. And then once again, here he come with some old weird shit. I solemnize like an ass raper. I mean, what is the deal with that shit? I'm, I'm just, I'm just keeping it 100, man. That dude always come with some old, old, weird shit, just like that song Rain Man. He wasn't even saying nothing. Then, once again, oh, Dr. Dre, is it cool to put put ball with the put put ball? I mean, what the fuck was he saying on that shit? Then the other song, ass like that. What do you mean, Dean? Doing nine to nine to Dean? Dun to dun to dun to dun. Chee chee chee. I mean, that's he literally said that shit on the song. So how is that being the greatest rapper ever? Like I said, this man, <laughs> for real, I'm telling you right now, man, the dude got away with a lot of shit 
that a black rapper couldn't get away with. And motherfuckers just need to accept it, accept the truth. You know, I'm just keeping it 100. But ho hold on right quick. Let's, let's, you, you know, let's take it a step further. Like, for real. Go down this catalog, man. Go listen to some of his songs, man. He get out rapped on a lot of his songs, man. So that doesn't mean that he, that, that doesn't mean that he's the greatest rapper ever. Okay, listen to that song called Remember Me. Speak, uh, Sticky Fingers verse was the hardest. And then go to Bitch Please Part 2. Exhibit came the hardest. So it wasn't like he was always... I, I, I take all of that into account. He wasn't always standing out on records. You know what I'm saying? It will just be, oh, Eminem on this. And then people would think he just did something. Because a lot of times Eminem would uh, write some weak ass verses. On some of the songs he would do guest appearances on. His verses would be weak. His lyrics would be mediocre. He would just say one little clever line. And then be, oh, Eminem, you got, man, come on, man. And no, I don't give a fuck about what Game said about, oh, wow, Eminem, man, he, he really bring, I mean, you know, that's Game's opinion. But I know this rap shit. And I finally saw through it and shit. Now, I'm not hating on him, but I'm just telling the truth. He ain't the greatest rapper of all time. Just like Ice Cube said in that song, I forgot what song it was, but it was from that Laugh Now, Cry Later out. When he hit that line where he said, the best rapper in the world ain't a European and he was absolutely right so this is for that punk ass motherfucker that came under your ghost account you know trying to say yeah I think Eminem he ain't and you can send this video to Eminem too you can send it to his Twitter account or whatever and you can tell him I said it cause I know his history and he wasn't winning all them he wasn't winning all them damn freestyle battles in Detroit. I know he wasn't. Because I know some Detroit niggas that, that said he wasn't winning. He did good. He did well. He held his own. But he wasn't just like dominate like people was make, make like he make it out to be and like how other people made it out to be. Because like I said, I, I can bet you money if any other producer had discovered him other than Dr. Dre, he wouldn't have lasted as long as he last. I guarantee it. So most of it was hype from Dr. Dre building him up. And it worked. So it is what it is. Like I said, man, to you Eminem fans, if you don't like this video, so fucking what? Like I said, he ain't the greatest rapper of all time. And he, he even admitted that he manufactured a lot of his style of his style from Big Daddy Kane and Rakim. You know how they used to present their words and do their word playing shit. But yeah. He ain't the greatest rapper of all time. Anybody want to debate about that, let me know. I'm out.